Stretch exercise. Jeez. Yeah, you don't think it's of uh, stretch really? Or right, go, you you, you go ahead. You go ahead. You go next. You go next. What do you think of Miles? I thought Fantastic Four, Mister. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, but also oh, see now that I, now that I thought a little bit, Alaska Girl. What the one of the Pixar's best women ever created. You were trying yeah. to walk a fine line, I can tell. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to get canceled today. Yeah, you heard that. You heard that straight. <laughs> I couldn't even. I couldn't even. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, yeah, uh, great uh, uh, The best ever woman. To, ah, dear. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Unfiltered Pineapple Podcast. This is your host, Orc, joined here with my friends Miles and Ari. Say hi, guys. Hey, y'all. What's up, guys? And girls. Yeah, thanks, audience of all genders and types. So. <laughs> <laughs> all genders and types. Yep, Never everything. All right. So, uh, I, I thought it'd be a little fun today because we all like to just go off on random topics. Uh, back when I used to do improv club there's a warm-up game i forget what it's called but there's a warm-up where you just yell out a random word to uh, the actors on stage and all they have to do is just take that word and start going with it or they just act off the first thing that comes to mind when they hear that word even if they don't say it out loud so i was wanting to do that with you guys today and i'll, I'll join in too if there's a word mm. granted i see the list in front of me i randomly generate the list and new words pop up in a series of one to twelve but I may jump in before you guys if I see a word I like, or I may just give you guys the option to start. But regardless, uh, for this first set of 12, I'm going to go ahead and let Ari pick the first number, and we'll go from there, and I'll just randomly cut, you, cut us off and pick to a new word when I think enough time has passed. The conversations just go wherever they go. Okay, so I choose a number between 1 through 12. Correct. And then after a word's picked, I'm going to refresh the list every time. Okay, I've I've never really done improv, so I mean this is going to be a new experience for me. That's why I so, want you to go first. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, just just get the newbie out first. Um, let's do five. You pick the word handsome. <laughs> All right. Um, but handsome. First, I was thinking you, of mine you, when you, you think of. Talk handsome. about yourself. You can talk about yourself. Yeah, like you can talk handsome. about it. I'm handsome. <laughs> did you hear that confidence miles i'm handsome <laughs> was so, it, did, it felt forced but i respect it i respect it 100 percent. hey listen handsome so all right is that is that like i, I don't want to i don't want to step your toes now you, you okay. got anything you want to say before handsome before i just go off <sighs> You see, like I don't even know, like all right, I'm, I'm I'm supposed to like think of, like like explain this to me, like I'm supposed to think of something to talk about. You using don't have to think word. about anything to talk about. You literally wherever What's the conversation. First... Yeah, it's it's like that. Uh, it's like the uh, psychology test where they say a word and you immediately respond with the first thing that comes to mind. But in this case, yeah. we're not acting; we're just talking about it in a conversation. So I say yeah. handsome. My mind immediately went to Johnny Bravo. And his self confidence with how handsome he thought he was, he could pick up any woman. Oh, I thought I, for me, I was like, I was like handsome Squidward. Because <laughs> oh, yes, to me, I'm like, it's, it's just, it's just, it, it also came with the name, but also it's like that is the image of people like, yeah, Squidward, hideous. He is the handsome epitome handsome. of handsome, yeah. yeah. Handsome oh, Squidward, no, he's hot. <laughs> like exactly, like, but the thing is, like, also handsome is subjective, and some yeah. people think that. Certain people are more handsome than others, and some people be like people that call that they think <laughs> are handsome is hideous. So it's still to where it's like handsome Squidward is clearly this. I, we saw what Squidward you know, looked like before, and I this got a question. Is upgrade. Yeah, I got a question for uh, both of y'all. Then, like, uh, can you really say to yourself, like, you know, oh, I think this other this dude is handsome. Like, I can't. I don't know. Like, I've never yeah. thought. I I don't I don't think of other dudes as handsome. Well, I don't look at the, I say yes because I don't look at the trait of being handsome 
as anything like I'm attracted to you. I look at mm. handsome simply as an attribute like that is, a, if I were to describe your character, or not your character, if I were to describe you to someone, I would use that term to embody the image of what they look like. So I can look say, at somebody, I can look at somebody and say someone's handsome, but it's more like, man, you're a handsome motherfucker. I'm about to steal that whole outfit that you wear. <laughs> Exactly. It's, I li- more, I it's like more of that. admiration rather than oh, attraction. admiration. Oh, okay. Yeah. I ain't saying this motherfucker, oh man, his freaking bone structure is spectacular. No, I ain't it's doing like that. It's like I wish I had those. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say his mole structure? No, his <laughs> bone, bone structure. Bone structure. His bone structure. He's got his the mole high structure. Cheeks. Yeah, his I wish my mole was on the other high side. High cheekbones. <laughs> 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 all right, so you see how this is gonna work, are right? you? These are all yeah, gonna be I, 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 I see now, <laughs> but I'm just like, I'm still a little like... There's no, uh, you say something crazy, we can roast you, so... Of course, that. yeah. That's all it's it just... is. It's a few quick minutes apiece for each word. Alright, so, I refresh the list. Miles, I'll let you pick. Seven. Alright, eager. Eager. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> eager Ooh, beaver. I'm eager to make more money. Oh, I'm so eager to make more money. Eager is the... Oh, just ready to jump at something. Is that the word you used to describe yourself in an interview? Oh, I'm eager to take y'all's money. (laughs) I am so eager to take y'all's money. Please hire me so I can take y'all's money, and I will do whatever y'all need me to do as long as it's in my job title because I don't clean toilets. That's one thing I don't do. I'm an electrician. (laughs) I'm good at wiring. I'm good at doing stuff with my hands. Now, do you see eager as, like, can you are you do you sexualize that word? Like, Whoa. can you say like wait I'm eager? Minute. Are you gonna ask <laughs> that for every single word that comes? Is that up like yeah? <laughs> wait a minute, what is happening? Is that your MO but today? Why would you Why would you sexualize the word? Like, am I am I eager to take her out on a date? Am I eager to? Oh, I'm, no, eager is eager is just saying you you have a I mean, drive. I mean, you could something. technically sexualize any word, but like when I think of eager, I don't know. I, I guess like. I, I think of someone that's like eager to have sex or something. I don't know. You did say yeah. eager beaver at the start. You just went straight into it. Yeah. yeah. You, okay. Now I'm seeing. Uh huh. <laughs> we're gonna learn a lot about how he thinks. We're gonna learn a lot about. Yeah, we're gonna learn a lot about Ari today because I think Ari, Ari, Ari might be eager for some. You know, if you would like to take Ari out on a date, call this number at three. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Put it well, out there. Speaking of dates, Get us on the I, email. Speaking yeah. of dates, the next word I was going to pick, I refreshed the list, was number four, blind. So blind dates was what came to my mind right away. Blind. Oh, <laughs> man. When I think of blind, it's automatically Stevie Wonder. Well, like, man can't see. Oh, that's, a, that's a good thought, though. I love his music. <laughs> like, like, man. You literally. go straight to the blind man. I'm not gonna fret. I still don't think he's blind. I don't, I'm not. That's just. That's, in my <laughs> opinion. Blind, in my like, opinion. You know. Let me go ahead and say that in my opinion, Stevie, please don't sue me. I don't think he's all the way blind. Once I saw him catch a microphone, I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. How you do that? Like, like I don't know if blind people got like like echolocation or something. But <laughs> man, he caught that microphone real quick. And I was like, mm, man, that yeah. brother can see something. <laughs> even, the, either, there's even, actually people in Hollywood that think he isn't blind because like uh there's like a couple stories where like um this celebrity was going into the elevator and like Stevie Wonder was just like, Hey, oh, hey, how's it going? You know, knowing exactly who it was. But here's something I learned about blind and this is something that that was messing me that messed me up to where it's like it, it applies kind of to the people that are deaf. Like people are just like, Oh yeah, I'm deaf and I was like, Oh snap, my bad. Like, so can you hear me? And they're just like clearly we're having a conversation. I'm like, Yeah, okay, you're right. How are you deaf? And you can still hear me. It's like I'm deaf in one ear or I'm deaf with partial hearing loss, Mm. but I'm legally defined as deaf because it's below a certain margin. People can be blind, in my opinion, and this is where I'm not I'm not an expert in this, but people can be blind to say they can see like shades or they can see Mm. a certain amount of light. Right. To be able to say, hey, listen, I still can't see, but I can see something. Enough. Like, if something's coming at me, I can yeah. grab it. That's why I'm like, I don't know about Stevie. Cause Wait, that, that, is Stevie completely blind? or We don't know. That, that, I don't know. I, I thought, I'd have to do some research. I thought but, he could, from what I remember 
seeing in an article, obviously mm -hmm. I can't verify anything like that. I thought he had like a reminiscence of like shadows. So you could see the, like you said, shadows, like the microphone falling. I didn't think he was totally blind. That's where it's like, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I definitely don't know. But uh, yeah, that's that's from what I understand. Stevie was was blind ever since he was a kid. Like he he mm. was a he was a, he was a baby blind. But it's you never you never know you n you never know until you ask. And I'm pretty sure we haven't asked, or at least I haven't asked or done the research. But when I think of the word blind, I think of him. He blind, but we don't know how blind. The first thing that came to my mind with the word blind is like, you know, people following the blind, like, um, what? is that, uh, the, there's a phrase that is like, you know, following the blind, the blind following the blind or something like that, where it's just like, you know, having this like unfettered faith in another person, even though they, they just don't know what they're doing either. You never heard of that phrase? I like don't think I've heard of it that way. Leading the blind or something like that? I don't remember the exact phrasing. Yeah, I, I know the what you're getting at with the meaning of it. I don't think I've heard that phrase specifically in that context. I might be looking at more as like some other uh, you know, analogy, like you know, using elephant or whatever else in the terminology. Um, but no, I get that context. It sounds like a biblical quote in all honesty. You know, the blind leading the blind is clearly the pretty much the stupid lead and the stupid people that oh, don't that, know that's, what the hell. That's what I remember it as. <laughs> yeah, that's literally, yeah, that's how I remember it. It was the stupid lead and the stupid. Like, you blind, you you blind because you don't know. You just don't know what's in front of you. And you could look at something to where it's like, hey, guys, look at this new leaf I just got. Let's all eat, take a bite. And everyone's now eating poison ivy. Like, yeah, the blind lead and the blind. He didn't even know what was in his hand, but he just let everybody and nobody knew what it was, and now everybody's now itching from the inside. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So, when I, like I said, the first thing that came to my mind was blind date. Obviously, the little bit of a segue from the previous conversation. I haven't, mm -hmm. but have either of you two ever been on a blind date, and how'd that go? I've been on a couple of blind dates. But, pick um, your favorite. <laughs> pick my favorite. The blind date, when I, I set up my own blind date. Oh, I can see why that's your favorite. Did it go well? <laughs> yeah, no. I set up my own blind date because uh, I was drunk a night before. Oh. And drunk me set up a date with somebody <laughs> I ain't never seen before. And when I woke up, I was just like, yeah, I'm looking forward to this date uh, here at this time. And I'm just like, damn. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through with this. And uh, I went through with it. She was a nice girl, real nice girl, gorgeous, cute. Uh, but I had literally had look her in the face and like, listen, um, I cannot really recall what happened because I had this amount of alcohol she, and she was, she was, she was understanding and everything. And I was just like, mm -hmm. you know what? But this is probably one of the best dates I've had in a very long time. I'm like we still friends to this day, but it was still that, that, that I set my own blind date up. <laughs> Cause, uh, I couldn't tell you. When I, we've had this conversation, how long this conversation was, what she even looked like. I just know I woke up because I time traveled from from before we got there to my bed and then got to, saw the text messages. So I was like, hey, mm. you know what? All right, I guess I guess uh, drunk me uh, set me up with a date. Thanks, me. <laughs> Always looking Thanks, out me. for me. Always looking Always. out for me. <laughs> The blind leading the blind. <laughs> blind leading the blind. Which was a good blind leading the blind because he led me to, to a very, very nice person. Obviously. All your nose for the fruity taste that shows. All right. So. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I've ever been on a blind date, actually. So I can't really speak to that. Well, geez, now, now we know something that, all right, we got to change. <laughs> Drop you oh, off at hey. uh, so, Just like, Ari. don't tell me that it'll be on a date. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Go ahead and pick the next word. All right. We had a good five plus minute conversation here. Get the, five yeah, plus minute. Well, you get how it works. Your commentary. Now. Well, I'm just saying, you get how it works now. You got more of a feel for it, the conversation, how it just flows like that. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. All right. So, you get, to, right. Do, you get to go first with the next word. So, go ahead and pick All one right. through 12. One through 12. One through 12. Let's do. 
Nine. Disappear. Oh, disappear. Mm. Um, I think about like the first thing that comes to my mind was the airplane that disappeared. It was like the Malaysian flight. 370 or whatever it was. 370, yeah. That's so, crazy. This man, the plane disappeared. When you said plane disappeared, I said like, Bermuda Triangle. I but, went straight to Bermuda Triangle too when you said plane I was, disappeared. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh my God. He's people just we're, disappearing. We're too historical, but, Miles. He's too modern. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but dang. No, but like that's that's uh I mean you hear a lot of stories about the Bermuda Triangle, but the the one that came to mind specifically was that airplane, the Malaysian flight. That's just crazy to me. Like how how can you lose a whole plane? I mean it's over an ocean. It's over a body of water. It's over a huge body of water. And you have to commend it. Go ahead. No, I can understand why you miss a whole plane because uh Hmm. it's deep in the water. You, and you'd have to send a team down there to find it. Or it disintegrated. Like, and here's the other thing. Like, if, if it, like bro- a plane broke apart in midair and then hit the water, like, mm. you're dealing with multiple parts in different parts of the ocean now. You see, my thing is, like, um, you have so many flights every day. You have millions of flights every day. And the fact that, like, a plane can just go missing. I mean, you know, you have, like, trackers. You have, like, um, the transponders. But, like, this plane in particular, you know, we wouldn't, we weren't able to find, like, the remnants of it. It's so let's just... think about this. What, wait, so where, where did it crash? Which plane are we talking about? Are we talking about Boeing? I'm, 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 I'm t- talking about Malaysian flight MH370. I believe that's what the name was. Okay. Um, and if I can recall correctly, it was over the Indian there's, Ocean. There's debate about where it was, but the leading theory is Indian Ocean. Yeah, that's the current one, I think. Gotcha. Hmm. See, now I guess we yeah, gotta go to the Indian Ocean and go solve some, uh, solve some. Google, Google was already listening, and that was the first <laughs> thing. I put M, and this is Malaysian Air, Airlines Flight 370, and it's just like, all right. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah so it was... You, you thought about South an airplane. China, it was over the South China Sea originally, and then it flew over they the Indian Ocean. turned off their signal where... and all that stuff. Yeah, they checked out, yeah. they checked in, all that. Yeah. See, when I... So, again, you're thinking more modern. <laughs> my, what, on what, came to, what came on to my mind immediately is... It, it's not disappear in the context. Like, we never found it, but I immediately went to a, I forget what, it was like a tabloid or an article. It, was in, it made the news in Britain. I want to say like 10 plus years ago, there was, I forget, I have to find it myself to track it down, but it was some sort of like museum where mm. it had these doors bolted shut and they just opened one day in security camera and this creature in a row was just pushing them open and then closed the doors and kept walking. Oh, no. <laughs> no one else no one else in the building had any idea about that. You didn't see it walk in any between any other windows. It just disappeared. I was like, yep. oh, that's wow. where my mind went. Just, I, I got to track it down. I can share it after the chat. But um, mm-hmm. things like that, mm-hmm. the paranormal is where mine went to. The idea no, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah absolutely not. I did not think about any paranormal. I just thought about no. missing white girls. Like, it's typical. <laughs> the disappeared. It's like I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure they ran away from home. But if they didn't, we need to find this this, this person that's taking out taking away these little girls. But that's what I thought about disappeared. Like he, he see from airplanes to the paranormal. I'm just thinking about it. like real life people just disappear. Like listen, this person's been on the milk jug for the last two years of my life. Where is this person? Like yeah, why is this crazy person still too. missing? Um, just oh, like the, the reports the of people cards? missing. Yeah, the missing. The, like this person, yeah. this person vanished away from their mom and dad at the park. Like, damn! Like, how you? Like, we ain't got no cameras. Like, this. we're mm-hmm. we're shoot, back in the day, about... it was like 2012. I'm like 2012. We ain't got cameras in their parks. I, I think I heard you say the milk carton. The people missing had milk cartons. Right? Yeah, ma- milk yeah, cartons. Yeah, the... yeah. They, yeah they, I... they te- they give you the description of like wh- how, where they missing, what they were wearing at the time when they went missing. It's what like, they might look it? like nowadays, yeah. Yeah, like holy crap! Like people just Actually, just disappeared. 
I want to point this out real quick. I, I I saw someone who did like a research report analysis on the various people identified in the milk cartons when it started, why it started, all that stuff. Apparently, historically, less than 10 cases were ever actually solved through the milk cartons. There were a lot of tips that were received, but less than 10 were ever solved for the 10, 20 plus years that thing went on, the decades that it went on. So that's, that's it was more, it was more like a PR thing, but it wasn't very successful. That's, but that's where it's crazy. Like those, there's people that aren't even on milk jugs that been missing. Hmm. People that never even, never even got the chance to say, "Oh, this." Like there's people missing right now, and, and probably people just ain't saying anything about it. Like, uh, well, I guess that's just Susan. Like she just runs away from home. Like I don't think Susan's ran away from home this long. I'm pretty she went, sure she went out for cigarettes 12 years ago. She'll be right back. Yeah, she'll be back. Like, no, I'm pretty sure. Like, here's the other thing that people that disappear, like dads be disappearing from people's lives, and that's why I'm just like disappearing is just literally, it's it's also the the way people look at it to where it's like, oh, someone could say I disappeared from work if I don't show up tomorrow. Like, that's. Disappearing is literally saying, and what is the def- def- definition of disappearing? Because b- uh, before I even say anything, let me make sure I'm, I'm 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 actually accurate on what disappearance stands for. I mean, I was talking that like if you are talking if, about the um, Merriam-Webster dictionary version or what? Any de- definition, yeah, any definition of. I can like, pull up the Black's yeah. uh, law dictionary definition if you want me. Okay, okay. well, I, I just pulled it up, and I guess it's the American Heritage de- definition is to pass out of sight. See, I was right. Demand. So it could be, I can disappear from y'all if I just ended this phone, this this call right now. Yeah. yeah where, where miles go? <laughs> like, but that's where it's like, for me, I'm just like, there's the first thing in my mind is just literally someone just literally just going away. Well, have you ever had that thought where you're on the road driving home? You're like, you know what? If I just start driving towards Oklahoma, no one ever know. <laughs> oh, sure. I bet you. I bet you somebody in Oklahoma will know. Be like, hey, buddy, where are you from? You ain't from here. Well, you get what I'm saying, though. Have you ever had mm-hmm. that thought on the road? Where you're like, it's so easy to just disappear if you really wanted to. You already it's told people disappear. you'll be somewhere at a certain point. They don't see you. They may think you slept for the night, didn't call back. Next day, you're already gone. I mean, it's, I it's, it is pretty easy, especially for criminals to just like get a head start on things. And by the time people catch up to the fact they've left, they're dis- you know that's why they put out the the TV show, uh, you know, the first forty eight. You can't find mm-hmm. them fast enough. Yeah, they disappear. Yeah, they I would I would love to just disappear, you know, to a tropical mm-hmm. island, you know, a coconut in my hand, some some beautiful women. Yeah, one hundred percent. I'm gone. Disappear but... in the context of people don't know where you are, but you know where you are. The I don't think so. So wait, I'm trying to understand this. You, you said you want to disappear, but I mean, so are the you definition to get away from is, is do you do you just want to be somewhere where people don't know where you are? Is the question? So yes, because that's that would be the definition of disappear. Because disappear is to pass well, out of well, sight. I mean, or yeah, or yeah, cease to be seen, or to cease to be seen or seen or to be missing or unfound. So yeah. you could be, you couldn't know where exactly I, where where you're at as the person, but to be not to nobody, you could disappear just by turning your phone off. People don't know where yet. You could be anywhere in the world. People be like, I don't know where he's where he could be because now no one's. It's crazy because like literally nobody really would know where you are. Dang, that's crazy because people disappear off social media all the time. Mm. Mm, that's so that's where it's like yeah disappearing is just for me i'm like yeah i i thought more of the little little white girls would be on milk carton boxes and when, <laughs> when we were in high school I'd just be like dang why this girl why this girl missing like why can't we just like it's it then I, but also i'm like I, I also look at the parents like parents like you really just like you just you looked. At, you looked away that long. What happened? Yeah, like what happened? Like what's the what's the storyline? Like the, now, if it's somebody like kidnapped this person, yes, okay, we need to we need to find this person immediately. But if it's like this person ran away, this is the sixteenth time they don't ran away. This sixteen times the person's been on the milk box. The person still, especially if the person was still on the milk milk box, and the person already came back home and they left again, and they just was like keep the same picture. 
The seagull. <laughs> Keep the same. You know picture. what's funny? <laughs> you, you know what's funny? If I remember correctly, to that that documentary series I was listening to, one of the few handful of cases that got solved was a woman who had been adopted by another family, and she saw her own face in the milk carton like ten years later. It's like, hey, that's me. So she retraced her old family. <laughs> and she that's, solved her own case. That's crazy. I hope she got the money too. Listen, crime solvers. I think I found your crime. Oh, we're paying five thousand dollars. Well, uh, well, come, come over visit. to this location. Yeah, come on over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miles. Next word. One through twelve. One through twelve. Give me ten. Number ten. Notebook. Notebook. Oh shoot! Notebook is just like people journaling. <laughs> people. I'm not gonna find. Every time I think about people journaling, I'm like, y'all need to. I hope y'all eventually burn that sucker, because I think I don't Why? know where I. I don't know where <laughs> I heard this from, but it was like when people write down in their journals about like yeah. their days and their past, mm. and they don't like burn it or get rid of it. It's like you have a record of everything in your past, which I don't think people should be living in their past or have records of it because what? then it's like, I don't think, I don't think people should have records of like their day-to-day past to where it's just like, Why? I think you should, you should keep that as like your memory bank, but not as just like you write it down and can forget it. And then you got to go back and reread it. I don't, I just, there's something like psychology. Like, okay. Yeah, I like, think, I, I think I understand your viewpoint. I think um, there's something that's you're... messing with me when I think about that. Yeah, you don't like the concept of, you know, taking the time, like, in the future, let's say, to read something. Oh, to let's read. see what I did on March 30th of yeah, last year. Yeah, I'll be like, yeah, I think after, like, because a like, year, that's... you should get rid of your whole, like, if it wasn't memorable to you, uh, it shouldn't be something you just reach back and be like, oh, let's see what we did this day. Uh, no, I'm like, oh. Interesting. There's it, something yeah. about it that messes me up with that. But, hey. To each his own notebook is I kind of I kind of wish I had like you know a notebook or like a journal to write down. I mean I have one, but like I don't I don't I don't have the time or like I don't actually go and just like write down what I did. Like I mean, like you said like you said oh Miles like you know most days aren't really that noteworthy, and then the noteworthy days is just like you're busy, you're doing yeah. the stuff that you want to do, and so like to take the time to write it down is just like. You know, when am I going to read this? Like, I when remember read that? I tried, I tried actually journaling back in like middle and high school. And then I just, the thing is like, you write stuff down and it's just like, I never revisited it. My therapist was like, you should write your stuff down. And I started writing the stuff down and I was just like, this is pointless in my eyes. Wait, and he was like, all right, well, don't do it. He was like, I've been in therapy for years. Oh yeah, I'm I'm a advocate for therapy. Please go to therapy, everybody, at least one time, and just sit down, especially on the long chair, long chair to where your head's facing the sky, and you just talk about stuff and just get it out your get out your system. Because there's mm-hmm. things to where it's like some people be out here bottling up. Hey, you don't you don't need to be bottling stuff up. Get it out, even if you even if you need to have therapy with your friends and and your close people. But yeah. I tell people, go go to therapy. But to, if you use a notebook as right. your therapist, I think that's called that might cause you extra stress because you're also holding holding in everything that's been happening to you, and you're not eventually. But releasing I mean, that. the thing is, like, um, nothing can replace like having a therapist. But um, like the advice of them telling you to write stuff down in a journal is like, you know, sometimes they're not available, and then like. If it's something that made you angry, for instance, or like something that happened that made you like upset, and you write, it, take the time to write it down, you're able to kind of just like go through your thoughts and be like, okay, like this is what made me upset. And as you're writing it down, it's just like, well, I mean, I think I shouldn't have been that upset about it. Or like you start to quantify like the information that you like received. And so, like, I think it's helpful in a way to just like, take a look and just take a look at the situation as if you were like the third person. And yeah, like, um, I mean, it can't really replace like a therapist, but, but then again, going back to like the journaling thing, it's just like, I mean, I feel like that's different from what 
a therapist is telling you to write down because the therapist isn't why. telling you to journal like you know what you did or you know didn't do like day to day you know it's just more like what some things that have affected you emotionally and then just write it down and then that way you can look at it reflect on it at that time and you know if it's something that needs to be discussed you know then like you can take that information because like you'll forget like easily too and you'll have it bottled up and then come back out like at a later time if you don't revisit it for instance you know what i'm trying to say yeah i get that i get that what what you can do to help you not have to bottle it up is on our next episode you can go ahead and start revisiting some of those older entries we can we can (laughs) talk about it with you out loud for everyone to hear (laughs) i think it'd be great for you a great release you get more comfortable with yourself and your thoughts that way that I'm I'm not a journal person. I'm more a <laughs> video person than anything. To where like I will audio record me talking about my problems, and then re-listen to that. But then after <laughs> a while, get rid of it. You talk but a also, bit. when you hear the video playing back, do you have a conversation? Like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's yeah, what that's what I'm motherfucking. <laughs> See, but that's where it's like sometimes you got you got to do it that way. But also. Like that's how that's how I did with do with comedy to where it's like you mm. you you want to speak and figure out what your timing is gonna be to where it's like do you want to wait do you want to pause for this punchline do you want to say this at this point I think that that's worked more for me than journaling but honestly if people if people journal I just think after like maybe archive your journals like five years and then get rid of it because especially if you do some uh, let's say things that maybe illegal or uh, could be used against you you might want to get rid of that yeah you might want to not have that book to where it's like yeah so i was uh at this location where i shouldn't have been there but this is what i was doing when i was yeah i think you should not be keeping records on yourself period i don't think that's a lot of um i keep a lot of records about myself um He's, a, like I, he's training I, to be a lawyer, Miles. Come on. That, yeah, that's um, true. Yeah, see, I'm training to be someone smart. who, he, he, I don't know, a delinquent at times. You know, maybe, you know, I might I might one day say, you know, if I was journal and everything, you know what? Hey, today, I don't think I... I don't think that light was really yellow. I think it was red, and I passed it to still. Like, I don't want to be writing everything <laughs> to a T. <laughs> Down to where it's like, it just... that reminds me like i posted something on instagram like a video and it's like uh so there was like a horse like um in front of a bar so like someone had brought the horse like to the bar and like i was stopped at a red light and i i thought i saw the light turn green but in the video i it can you can clearly see that i i crossed the red light See that that's where it's like if i was in my journal well today uh <laughs> i thought i was doing good but then i re- you I see, but with yellow. that, like, it's on Instagram, and so that's there forever, so... Oh, that's 100% there forever, yeah. Well, yeah. unless you delete it, and then, you know, pay Instagram to probably delete it. <laughs> uh, There's no, people that do that all the time. Yeah. But they don't write in a notebook. So, regarding notebook, my actual first thought was a captain's log. Like a... Ooh. Yeah, back on... Like Star Wars. Trek? No, like you sure you don't think of it that way. I mean, that's sailing the space <laughs> waves rather than safe, <laughs> surfing the ocean. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like Blackbeard. Gotcha. My bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, no, no, no. I mean, they're both captain's logs. The captain has to navigate the course and say where they're going. Whatever. But yeah, that's exactly where I was going to. It's the captain's log for uh, marine time travel. So, not much there. I immediately think of the one of those ghost captains from Scooby Doo. <laughs> Whenever I think of pirates, I the always think of exactly <laughs> something like that. I always just picture a Scooby Doo pirate as one of the pi- stereotypical pirates in my mind. <laughs> that's uh, I like that one. Yes, yeah, that's, that's Captain's that's Log. One. Yeah, on this day, me, Christopher Columbus, we found the we found the Indians. They're not like the Indians we remember from the Silk Road, but uh, these are different Indians. They wear feathers in their hair, and they, uh, they're they <laughs> very friendly. And they have bow and arrows, not like the crown prince from India that I've seen before, but he's different. But this, uh, this climate is nicer. The water is clearer. It's, 
So we got here life. much. We got here much faster than expected. But much faster. That's than just that. so, that's just my expertise at navigating these waters. We are the very mm. first people to go around the world, for what we understand, our limited knowledge. Like that that I like mm. those type of notebooks. I do exactly. like those notebooks. The ones I where they're just the, the adventurer one. They're exploring. The they, you that's know, funny. Yeah. Yes. You hate the those, idea of someone writing like their day to day, but you're just like, oh, I would <laughs> love to read work, a Columbus notebook. If you work notebook. at Seven Eleven, I don't want to hear your. I got <laughs> up at five forty five. Wait, so you want to hear? You want to hear Jeff Bezos, or like you want to see Jeff Bezos notebook? I would never want to see Jeff Bezos notebook because actually, I, can I, you know, imagine wanting like, to be in there? <laughs> I fired five thousand people today. Um and tomorrow I'm gonna over a glass of champagne. Over exactly like I don't I don't want to because that's not gonna hurt my spirit. That's I'm just like Elon kinda, Musk. Kind of interested book. because like um because like he divorced his um ex wife and now he's with the with a nice Latina and it's just like I mean you're a how lawyer. Did, how he, did he, he manage divorced, to do that? Yeah. He divorced you, you, his then wife. He didn't divorce his ex wife. His ex wife, yeah. His yeah, then wife, divorced, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. You know what no, I mean. Yeah. No, you're the one in law school. You're the one who's supposed to have these type oh, of jobs. Oh, yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta, I got, you got a point. You got a point. As, as long as you understand what I'm saying, it's all good. It's only until, when the, there's until confusion. Until the Oxford comma is misplaced, right? Until that Oxford comma is misplaced in the contract, then you don't I, understand. I, yeah, That's I mean, that's a good point. That's there's a point. difference between speaking and writing also, so that, people that aren't is, precise when they're speaking. Um, not everyone can read as well as they speak, yeah. All right, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> I didn't say what I was thinking about notebook, by the way. Oh, you didn't? Um, you had a long no, conversation with Miles. Oh, my bad. So I, I provided a lot of commentary about, like, your thoughts, y'all's thoughts, but I didn't actually come up with um what I think about when I hear notebook. Well, but your when floor I, is yours. When I think about notebook, I just think about, like, laptops. Like, um... Because I remember, oh, yeah. like, um, yeah, I mean, like, you know, that's like the old rudimentary way of referring mm -hmm. to laptops. But, um, yeah, but in other countries, like, they still refer to, like, laptops as notebooks. And, like, I remember my uncle was, like, referring to his laptop as, like, a notebook. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, because that's something that, like, it's been a long time since I heard. But I still think about it, too. It's like... You know what? You know what I just thought about? Uh, this really shows where our minds are. None of us thought about the movie The Notebook as our first reaction. Absolutely not. No. No. <laughs> no. And no. I'm not. I don't think, I don't think I've, I've never seen it. That. I don't think I have either. No, I've, but I've seen, seen a lot of memes around it. I, I, I don't remember it. I just know that I got a good night's rest on it. Oh, my God. The Notebook. The Notebook. Not the movie, The Notebook. That's oh, right. too funny. All so, right, next. Wait, you got uh, the next one. Yep, I'm going to pick the next word, resetting the list right now. Yeah, buddy. Wiggle. Oh, God. <laughs> so my first thought. <laughs> you, you heard Miles. me, right? Wiggle. Wiggle. You heard what? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, my first thought went to the Wiggles, the the kids. Oh yes, show. the Wiggles. Yes. yes. The <laughs> That's exactly why I started the laughing. The Australian oh. kids show. I love it. My oh, first thought was cool. like the Jason Derulo song. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah, that's like a, that, the but Wiggles with the all the colors song. is too funny. That is exactly what I remember. The way I don't even remember what they did each episode. I just know that they were all colorful. They had Barney I, characters walking around with them. They'd sing songs. They'd take them pies. All that kind of stuff. It was, it it was, was a, like it was like yeah. the Teletubbies for men. Like I like I don't know what it was. It was just men. men. <laughs> like it was just men. Teletubbies. I thought the That's Teletubbies what... were gender neutral. And and the Wiggles were men. It was just a whole bunch <laughs> of dudes <laughs> in different color shirts. Oh, that That's was interesting. Oh, Wiggles. Uh, I've never Dang. thought of it that way. It was just... Wiggles, Wiggles are for men. You can think of it kind of like Lazy Town before Lazy Town. Do you guys know <gasps> that show? Uh, I miss Lazy Town. <laughs> See, now i got to rewatch Lazy Town. Oh, my gosh. 
I don't know why I thought of that. Dragon Tales. Dragon Tales. You thought of Dragon Tales when I said yeah. Wiggle? No, I Fett. didn't. I think I just watched. I watched this documentary on Dragon Tales, which is crazy. It was what? very informative. On Dragon what Tales. Yeah. It was literally saying like the history and like what was the purpose of Dragon Tales and like how they were trying to program kids. And Wait, it was what? like it was. Yeah, like PBS was like, what was the purpose of Dragon Tales? Like the director was like, we want to make sure we give kids the ability to problem solve their issues. Like every episode, there was the the kids on the show met a different dragon with a different problem, and they had to find a way how to problem solve through it to get huh. it to get it done. Like, Wait, yeah, is that and the he's... reason why I'm in law school is because of Dragon <laughs> Tales. I'm pretty sure it's probably reading between the lines, but it might. That, you no, know, I think it's it reading cool. Rainbow. I like that that show. Reading between the lines. Rainbow. Reading between the lines. I'm not gonna find that. That was my. That was my show. Reading Rainbow Dude, was... with like, um, um, damn, Lavar Burton. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I never watched that fully. Like I, like what? I always saw him. I always saw him as the dude off of Roots, and I Reading saw Roots before. Reading Rainbow. I mean, I, he was also I, on Star Trek. So he was Jordy yeah, on Star Trek. Was, yeah, he was the one with the freaking visor on his eyes. But no, he was the I, blind I, man. He was the blind mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. I hear blind but, man. I think of Blinken from Men in Tights. I'm sorry. I just... <laughs> that's crazy. But yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, wiggle. That's Great word, true. isn't it? It just it immediately triggers the same reaction. I love it from <laughs> us. All right, Ari. Next set of one through twelve. Pick a word. All right, let's do four. Stretch. Stretch. Ooh, man. man, I think of exercise when they think of stretch. It's like you stretch. God, you're your... so basic. Come on. <laughs> I, I stretch exercise. Jeez. Yeah, you don't think if of I... uh... stretch really? Or go what ahead. You, you, you go ahead. Okay, you go what, next. Go you go next. What do you think of Miles? I thought Fantastic Four, Mister. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, but also, oh, see now that I, now that I thought a little bit, Alaska Girl. What the one of the Pixar's best women ever created? You were trying yeah. to walk a fine line, I can tell. I was. I'm <laughs> 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 well, trying not to get canceled today. Yeah, you heard that. You heard that straight. <laughs> I couldn't even. I couldn't even. Have that one. It's like oh, oh, yeah, uh, great uh, uh, the best ever woman to die. Ah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I. I to answer your question, Miles, I thought of immediately of the phrase "that's a stretch." Um, oh yeah. Not, uh, not much more off of that other than just the phrase came to mind, though. Okay. And I afterwards I went straight to exercise, but that might be because Ari was already talking about exercise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was <laughs> talking about exercise earlier, but yeah, that's the first thing that came to my mind. Do you stretch like... daily? You do exercise daily, keep in shape. I I exercise keep daily, healthy? but I don't stretch as often as I need to and I'm suffering right now because of that I actually uh so what I did is like I had a 5k uh about like yesterday and funny thing is like I didn't stretch enough and now I'm like really sore did you do do you believe in uh pre-workout stretch and post-workout stretching or do you just I'm not really a believer in that but evidence does show that like you know it does help in terms of like you know, making sure you recover. But yeah, mm-hmm. what about you? I mom? don't. I don't stretch at all. I just be out here just living my best life. But right now, mm-hmm. I'm going to go the bed, run a five k. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I definitely go to the massage therapist though. I don't play. Oh, that. I need to. I need to do that. That sounds lovely my, right now. I've my never body. been to a massage therapist before. Oh, yeah, yeah, me neither. Yeah. Have you? I just said me. No. Yeah. Oh, I said I go to all the time. Yeah, he oh, just okay. said he was. He just yeah. said he was going, and you asked him if he's going. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm definitely. I definitely. I tell everybody, please take your time. But there's certain massage therapists that are, let's just say, different than others. Oh, oh my uh, God! So watch out for them. Miles, question. You're walking Visit. to the wrong place. I have a lot uh, of questions now. No, I have, I have a separate question. Business <laughs> venture idea for you, Miles. Don't know. Oh you no. Have you ever considered oh. combining therapy with a uh, massage? A yeah, masseuse. You get your sure. massage while you talk to therapist. I'm pretty sure I saw a video about that. And no, there's a person who that's a uh, 
kind of off topic, kind of on topic. There's a lady that you can pay, and she will cuddle with you and ask oh, you yeah. uh, therapy questions. And I was like, that's crazy. I I think that would work. Like, what would you call it? The big spoon or something like that. Mm-hmm. Oh no, not not for not for massages though. Are you naming the venue? Oh, I, I was naming it. Yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> what do I call it? <laughs> Hands the of big... wisdom. Play it all out. Oh, that Play works. It all yeah. Out. Like I have a friend that, that's a massage therapist. Like he's a professional massage therapist. Actually, I have another female that she's a massage therapist too. She likes some masseuse. And... Oh, really? How much schooling does that take? Yeah. How long does that take? I think he said it was five months. And you got to be like an at an actual school for it, though. Just the thought of um, going back to like the cuddling thing. Just the thought of like cuddling a, a stranger. Just like, ugh. oh shoot, I could do that all day long. Shoot, I don't. I, I'm I'm good. Being, I being military, yeah. shoot, you understand? Know I've, I've bumped with other dudes, and I, we've right. slept at airports, and it's just like, hey man. Wait, man, I didn't know I'm you were home. in the navy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not Navy, not Navy. Uh, but shoot, but hey, man, I'm gonna lean on your shoulder. You lean on mine. All right, cool. You just got a lot of people just leaning over. <laughs> like, shoot. Ari, make sure you go write down in your journal afterwards how this conversation made you feel uncomfortable. We can revisit it during the next episode. We can definitely talk about that next episode. <laughs> you know, this is safe space. Uh, what about cuddling? How <laughs> how uh, how upset you were at the idea of having to cuddle with a stranger? It was uncomfortable to you. I mean, it's, like, if if the reveal, the it reveal is, something the about this is to to get like you know me to be relaxed, I'm not gonna be relaxed with some <laughs> someone, and I'm just like cuddling them, or they're cuddling me. That's even. Uh. Oh, I get that. You want that connection with the person, not just any body, not just yeah. a physical body to be there. Yeah, it's more emotional, psychologically attached. I get it. I don't want anyone breathing on me. Ugh. You can breathe on them. You can rotate. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, especially if, if if they're the little spoon. <laughs> you breathe all, all right. up on their back. All right, all right. So, did you That's guys true. both say your first thoughts to that, or was that just me? I have no so, idea. <laughs> I what, forgot what, what already. A... The word was stretch. <laughs> oh yeah, no. we, I think we wait. I already no. said his word. I yeah. said mine because it was Mister. It was it was Elastigirl. That's right. All right, cool. Best cool. Pixar woman ever. All right, Miles, you get to pick the next one through twelve. Go ahead. Ooh, all right. So I said seven, and then I said ten. I'm gonna do three this time. <laughs> five. <laughs> the word what is, is five. The word is the five. The word is five. You, bo- <laughs> you got you. <laughs> it makes me want to. It makes me want to change my number. That's not the first thing that goes to my mind. All right, you, do you want to change it, or are you just gonna go? <laughs> no, I'll just go. I'll just go. I'll just go with five. Just freaking. God dog it. When I said when I thought about it, <laughs> now that I'm thinking like instead of just like changing my number to five. Fantastic four. Fantastic four <laughs> needs a fifth person. That's because uh, I always I always think that's the weakest group in Marvel. I'm just like they always need a freaking additional per, additional person. Because everybody in that group is just They just eh, need another so Batman. Get... Everyone just needs uh, a Batman with them. Like they should have just hired the Silver Surfer. That's what they should have done. Like hey, Silver Surfer, so you just go to work. How would you join our group? Yeah. I heard well. hand. Yeah. I heard hand. I immediately thought of obviously the high five, but then visually, when I I said the word five and started laughing, I immediately thought of the hamburger helper glove, just walking around, uh-huh. bouncing around in all those TV <laughs> commercials. <laughs> ah, I like that. That's five. a good one. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is like burgers and like Five Guys. But five I think that's guys. the same. Just yeah, five guys. Oh, the store. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, the like, burger joint. Like, talking, what do you think I was, we, was talking about? We were just. I thought we were just talking about how you don't like. You don't wanna... He doesn't want to cuddle, know. but he wants yeah, to be with cuddle, those five, five guys. guys. I was like, oh, wait a minute. It's a different conversation. <laughs> no, no, no. We're talking about hamburgers here. Not <laughs> talking about hamburgers. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> yeah. You been there I'm recently? Hungry. You been, you been there recently? What's the five guys? Yeah. No, that place is expensive. Like I was about to say, the prices went up. Wait, really? I haven't yeah, been there dude. in a while, actually. So getting, if they went a, up... getting a couple burgers and milkshakes for two can get all the way up to fifty bucks. Uh, it's not even worth it. Like, it's not worth it. 
Them burgers and them people, that's what they huh? you I'll just go there for the free peanuts after a while. Hmm. All right. Yeah, so I did like the comedy of that, how it just, the first word that comes up, <laughs> an actual number, <laughs> you happen to pick it. Oh my um, God, I was like, oh my gosh. I don't know how fair it is that I'm actually seeing the list and then picking from that list. I'm not. I'm just picking a number and going off that. But to get past any concerns about that, I'll just let Ari pick again. One through 12, I'm resetting the list right now. All righty, so we did three, we did four. It can, no, the list changes. I refresh oh, it. Every it changes time. every time. Yeah, it's a, it's a new I, set of twelve every time. I, I I understand that, but my thing is like I don't want to pick pick the same number every time, so I'll pick one this time. <clears throat> oh, you're gonna love this one. Argument. Oh boy. Oh yeah, argument. I think lawyers. I think you know going in court, or like right now, like we're freaking arguing right now. Oh, I don't see us be arguing. We're um, having civil oh, discourse. A civil I like discourse. Civil. Okay. Yeah. But arguing. So Argu you think arguing. Lawyering, lawyering is arguing? Yeah. That's all we do is uh, we argue, whether on paper or we're in the courtroom. We're we're always arguing. I mean, yeah, you gotta you gotta make your side win. That's really what it is. I, when I said the word argument, I just, memories more, just thinking about arguing with family about dumb stuff, you know, who put the plate away, it wasn't me, stuff like that. <laughs> Do you have a recent uh, argument? A recent one? I mean, again. Actually, it, yeah, yeah, like, how often do you argue with your wife? Well, that's, an argue. that's a good question, because some people don't argue. Yeah. No, no, not, not really, not really. Hmm. I feel like, okay, so hear me out. Like, I feel like a little argument here uh, every so often is actually pretty healthy. Okay. It is healthy. Yeah. It's not necessarily yeah, it's not. a release, but it, it helps make sure your communication skills are still up and all that sort. It doesn't mean that That's you have a, to have it. Okay. It doesn't mean once a week is healthy. It's based on the relationship, though. You know, once a month versus every other day. How often do you say you argue with your wife? Not very often, maybe once a week. A lot know. of it, if anything, get, is just misunderstanding. A lot of it would just be misunderstandings, if anything, and then it's like, oh, yeah. that's cleared up. It's not like it's, it's not like we sit here like you think this way, I think this way. We can't move forward until we make a decision. No, it's none of that. See, we're, pretty that's, 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 we're pretty aligned on a lot of thought processes. That sounds healthy. That's a healthy, healthy relationship. Argue about misunderstandings, but you never argue with each other about each other you argue with each other about the problem and that's something that a lot of people miss that in relationships they argue with each other thinking that the other person is the problem instead of saying hey you're not, i know you're not the problem and you know i'm not the problem the problem is this outside of our relationship which we need to address You've been going to too much therapy, but you're correct. I know, bro. I told you. I mean, I, I, I've, been in, I've been in it for a long time. I know a lot of methods of, of DS. But no, that, that is correct. That's that's kind of the embodiment of how it is for us. But no, that's why I said argument. I thought more of growing up with family. It's, so oh, you do this chore today. You do that chore. You know, all that kind of everything siblings deal with growing up with siblings and parents deal with their kids and all that kind of nonsense. Mm -hmm. What about you, Miles? Well, you ever argue, argue with your I, therapist? Oh, all the time. Oh my gosh, mm. I've had I've I've had to argue with my therapist so bad to where I was like, I need a new therapist. Really? To where I was just like, oh yeah, those those like when I was in high school, oh yeah, I was going back and forth like you don't know what the hell you're talking about, and like I remember I was talking like talking about therapist, but I was like, one well, this girl that I had a huge crush on, and he was like, yeah, you know what, I think you're just wasting your time. Uh, da, da, da. And I was just like, Ooh. see, if, like, and I was just like, I understand, like, now as an adult, like, yes, like, like, a crush at the time is nothing compared to, like, when you're an adult and you're yeah. thinking about marriage and stuff. But at that time, I was just like, I looked at him, I was just like, you don't know what you're talking about because you're on your fourth wife. And I was just like, oh. see, 
And I was just like, see, I was, he, was just like, he, was like, he was like, see, now think about that. I'm on my fourth <laughs> wife and I can tell you that this is it. <laughs> I see it. I was like, I just couldn't picture. I couldn't are are you still with it. the same therapist? Oh, yeah. You're playing, no, you're, am. You're playing yeah. checkers and he's playing chess. <laughs> exactly. Like, he, no, I'm not even playing. I'm playing tic tac toe and he was playing chess. If, if like, I were your therapist, though, I would have been really upset. I've been like, all right, you can leave now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he like, but that's where it's like that's why he's a professional, a very yeah. good professional, and that's what I'm yeah, saying. like for you to just like go. Oh go yeah, there, shoot, like, I was a, I was a, I was a firecracker back then. Shoot, I was wow, just going at, just going at, just but just to argue, to argue, and then also as a part of the debate club, which was the first thing I thought about when people said argue, because mm-hmm. being on the debate team, it was something to where it's like, yes, you need to articulate every point that you can possibly make. And make sure that you're not giving out all your cards until that very last, your very last point, because then it could be something to where it's like, and that's something to where also lawyers do that. Yes, your opening statement is your is your foundation of what you plan on presenting to the case, but your closing could could be completely different from what you expect it to be in the beginning, based upon the evidence that is shown, because you want to highlight certain things you want to dis. Mm-hmm. You want you want to uh, uh, throw away others, and that's right. where it's like that's. But that's I something can, to where it's like yeah. I can add a little bit more context there, um, since I have taken a, a trial class. Um, adding a little bit more context to like you know the opening statement, we're kind of really limited in what we can tell like the jury. Closing statement, we can be like, all right, guys, like y'all saw everything, so like here's what we say is gonna be, and then like. Yeah, and just completely ignore, like, you know, the other side. And, like, the other side would probably do the same thing. Whereas, like, the opening statement is just, like, you know, you're very, like, limited in what you can tell the jury. You can't, like, tell facts. And, like, you can't really talk about, like, the law either. So it's just, like, you're so limited into trying to tell the story as much as you can in the opening statement that, like, you know it can help or it can destroy your case overall, you know? That's where it's just like, I, I'm just learning how everything is. It's just, I like, I think people need to be able to health, healthfully, how, oh, Jesus, why am I going to not say that word? Healthfully, healthfully. Oh Health, my God, I'm having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god yo help <laughs> help me please <laughs> but but have a healthy what healthy healthily i want to say healthily but i can't i don't know if it's the right word but it, uh, you should be able to argue with somebody healthy 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 healthy, healthy, healthy. have Jesus, a healthy argument a, you should be able to healthy have a healthy <laughs> argument with people <laughs> without name calling without being offensive without being angry because yeah. that's literally how we saw that's tough the- though you're, when you're when it's in the moment it's just like you you say stuff and then you're just like you you can't control it or like you know you have to learn how to control your emotions in a way that you're not like burning the other side burning burning relationships really um, I I'm a person to where it's like if you if I say something to you in an argument and you're like I I'm done with you and I'm just like dang I was just having fun. There's hmm. certain people that I'm I'm one of those people to where it's like I can argue with you and I'm I can literally you could give me a topic and it's totally different, totally different from what I actually really believe. But I'm like you know what as a person the, the debate club is like hey you're the pro you're the you're the con argue and it's like I wanted to be the pro so badly. Why did I have to argue this side? But you have to do your job. But that also You're, means you, you know what to be a lawyer then. That also oh, means you know what to look for to rebuttal those pros because you you know what you would argue. It's like I'm ready exactly. for it. I'm ready mm-hmm. for it. This would... yep. All right. Miles, I'm sorry I think I interrupted you earlier. Did you say what no, you good. thought it was with argument? Argument was debate club. Okay, debate just making team. sure. Just make sure I didn't interrupt you. All right, so it. you get to pick the next word. One through 12, reset the list. Go ahead. Oh, all right, so I did three, seven, and 10. Uh, let's do nine. I like how you guys were keeping track of your numbers. I, I didn't even think you guys <laughs> would do that. Uh, ooh. 
fertile, fertile, however you pronounce it. Oh God, you, fertile. You said wait, you said fertile? Yeah, fertile. like the fertile oh. crescent. Oh, there's our yeah. first thought. There you go. Ooh, no, that I... wasn't my first thought, but that was my first safe for work. <laughs> what do you mean thought? that wasn't yeah. your first thought? That's that was not how my yeah. first yeah. Miles, yeah, no. I know where you went, and I and, no, yeah, no, what, sure. what, what? No, no, no. Mine is, mine is, mine is. is <laughs> don't simple. be, don't, don't, fertile. Don't confuse the audience here. Like, like we all fertile, know, fertile. Fertile means love. That's what I think. Fertile is encompassed under love, because <laughs> fertile means to. You're willing to. You're, you're able to bring in more love into this world. That's what I'm gonna say. Who is this person? Go I don't. On. I don't know this person. <laughs> Hold on. What happened here? I, I zoned out. Miles. <laughs> Miles. Who is, Miles. Who are you? The word on the board is, is fertile. Go ahead. Yeah. The floor, the floor is yours. <laughs> no. All right. Well, I can get on. All right. What was your thought? <laughs> Like I said before, it was Fertile Crescent, you know? Yeah, that was my it, that was my first thought. No. Um I don't know, like Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> Stop. Um oh, fertile. My first okay. thought was my first thought was gardening because we actually growing up we had some gardens we'd put up each year. We just dig some holes in a nice rectangle in the backyard. <laughs> and actually just plant some tomatoes and stuff. And I was always curious, like I didn't realize our dirt was this fertile. <laughs> I keep growing tomatoes and cucumbers. Like I always thought, this stuff that I played on was trash at this point with all the stuff that we did to it. So that's where my thought process went. That's that's, that's lovely. A, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Yeah. Miles, what about you now? Ari, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I huh? said, like I, I thought of Fertile Crescent and nothing. So else. What about the Fertile Crescent? Go on. Yes, um, and Improv. I, yes, I, and. I, I thought of Iraq. I thought about the Euphrates and Tigris rivers. The and Euphrates the fact that is the cradle. Tigris. Oh, yeah, the Euphrates, the Euphrates River, and the Tigris River, and then Family like that's the yeah. cradle of you know civilization. Human civilization. Yep. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> old like, school, old think school history. Else, unlike you, no, Miles. No. Oh, I was. The, I, I thought about thinking. love. I thought about Valentine's Day. I thought about yeah, everything. Yeah, for Valentine's makes, Day. That's. For I sure. think everybody. I think pregnancy. Oh yeah. Positive pregnancy tests. Just oh, love. Gosh. Just the uh, the aura of love. In, that's in nice. This. That's that's cute. Yeah. Just, I, I like how cute you got with that. The aura of love. All right. I do like encompassing I, all different things. Yeah. All right, Ari. We're gonna go ahead and move to the next word. One through twelve. All right. Reset the list. Go ahead. All right. Let's go with six. Butter. Wait, utter. Wait, utter, utter. or butter? Like what you churn. Butter. Yep, with a B. Butter. Oh, okay, butter. butter. Mm. I I think of butterfingers. Yeah. Oh, oh, ooh, okay, butterfingers, the flaky, flaky. No, like the, I'm not even thinking that. I'm thinking like the actual like uh, candy, not yeah, yeah, said it yeah. The I candy's said it flaky. Like when you break it in the middle, it's like it got flaky layers. Yeah, what's wrong with yeah. that? Yeah. Or. I already said what I thought, churning butter. I, I haven't done it yet. I really have no, no, no. That's an experience I want to do is go out there and oh, churn yeah? you some wanna, butter. You want to churn some butter? <laughs> well, Miles does, but I actually right. want to go uh, do that myself. Hey, I ain't going to call it butter. But it's... <laughs> <laughs> You're still thinking about the last word, Ari. Right. So no, 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 no. I got <laughs> butter. I, I got something for butter. I'm... What right, you got? Wait. Butter toast. Butter toast, simple oh, as that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Think about the meat. Right on that toast. Just like yeah, the, the, the toast is buttering himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, butter toast. Okay. That is what I, I think about butter toast. You but gotta honestly, maybe add butter toast then. Butter toast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but no, butter is there. Butter is food. I'm not going for I'm a big fan of avocado butter now. I'm out here getting my oh. life bougie. I'm getting, I'm getting level. I'm leveling up. I don't what have is, What is avocado butter? Avocado butter is butter with a hint of avocado. It tells you. Oh, so it's like regular it. butter, but with a little bit of avocado, huh? With the avocado oil infused into it. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. 
Would you guys All ever right, want yeah. to go charting with me? Go out to some place? Like, oh, I'll, t- I'll, I'll go yeah, charting I mean, with you. Yeah, I'd want to say them. Remind me of uh, um, back in the day. They, there as are places where you can actual. go to make your... Yeah, yeah they can go to, you can go to places to make your own soap and butter and all sorts of stuff. It's an actual, you know, quote. I want to make some soaps. Practice. Yeah. I need, I need some soaps. We can go do our we can go do one of our first, lather, first to live, up, live podcast yeah. making soap to get the audience enthralled. Oh no. <laughs> No, no, we no, can no, we no, can no, lather no, each no. other up. I see now. This all right, is so all right. <laughs> all right, next <laughs> word. All right, uh, oh, oh, wait, wait no, I'm choosing. You just, you just picked butter, right? Yeah. All right, Miles, so your turn. Me. One through twelve. All right, one through twelve. Did three, seven, nine, and ten. I'm gonna do twelve. Sponge. SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants. Yep, that's it. That's all the money. All right. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, SpongeBob. SpongeBob is probably one of the most iconic childhood TV shows there was. Still going on. And going on. honestly, which is still crazy. So I'm pretty sure the, the original voice actor passed away. Yeah. Huh? Which is Even, wild. Uh, yeah. He, at yeah, that time, Penny was the original. The dude that no, was no, the, no, the, no, 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 the writer. The writer. Oh, yeah. He's been dead, the writer was he's been dead for years. The yeah, creator, the writer, I mean. The creator, yeah. not the voice the actor. The creator, not the voice actor. Because I was like, I, pre- I thought it was the voice actor, but I knew somebody iconic in the making of SpongeBob Pass. Yeah, because like, oh, the. Man. The creator didn't want, he only wanted the 2005 Spongebob movie. He didn't want the sequel that got made a few years back. The, what is that, the, like, uh, Atlantis one, whatever it was. Mm. I don't remember. He didn't want a sequel. He didn't want a second movie. But once he died, the new, director, the new direction was to make a new movie. So, I didn't see the, the, I didn't see the, oh, Jesus, where did that come from? I didn't see the, ne- the next Spongebob. I saw the one with Dave, Dave, uh, David Hasselhoff. That's the only SpongeBob movie I've seen. Oh yeah, I remember that. The only one we're watching. Yeah, that's. So you also you also thought of SpongeBob when you heard that word, Ari. I mean, yeah, I would I would say uh, SpongeBob, but um, another thing that came to mind was like Sponge Cake. Mmm, cake. Mm, Just my hunger. I like a good Sponge Cake. (laughs) It's all food for me today. All good. We understand. Hmm. We understand. I was with Miles. I thought I thought of SpongeBob immediately. Couldn't help it. Just like we had the same thought about the Wiggles. We we got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that we got some SpongeBob. similar childhood backgrounds. Yeah, All SpongeBob right, so back, yeah. we're gonna go ahead and do one more round with each of us doing a word. I'll start, and then we'll just go back to Ari and Miles. That way, I can get one more in here myself. Um, All right. And then we'll go ahead and wrap it up shortly, but don't rush the conversation. Just let these flow. Just letting you guys know you get one more turn apiece. So think wisely about the next number you pick. All right. Uh, I'm going to pick eight. And that is resetting elbow. Elbow. Uh, hmm. A little bit of, el- not elbow, elbow, like elbow grease. That's where my mind came That was in. my All first right. thought. Okay. Did grease steal mine? Oh, well, you, you got to think again. Yes, and Well, while I talk, go ahead and think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, I thought of elbow grease, you know, hard work, labor. Uh, actually, mm. I did, th- um, I was trying to remember where the term came from. I think it's an urban legend that it came from the idea that when uh, hard work and labor uh, in the factories came around and you had oil and everything all around people, on oh, top yeah. of people. They'd stick their arms in the machines to get things out. And like, yeah, you can't fix it unless you get your arm in there. You got to get some little elbow grease on you. I, th- I I think it's an urban legend where that term came from, but I believe that's what I recall hearing about it. Just a little fun mm, fact. That's, that's where it's like, elbow. like um, I'm, I cringed when I heard elbow. Cause Why? Elbow Did you break something? To me, is like, it's a snap. But it's it's because of uh, arm bars, and in UFC, when people like when you, uh, when someone grabs your arm and flex it, flex your pretty much your elbow joint the opposite way, uh, and you, you tap, or some guys are just like just break it. I'm not tapping. I'm not tapping. And it's like I right, bet pop, and it just pops out. It was like oh, uh, 
that's where, yeah, that's where my first thought process was like, oh, elbow, oh, elbow. Did it make literally... you, Did it make you wince when you thought about it? Yeah, that's why. I'm like, I bet you when we, when we listen back to this, is you're gonna hear me say, oh, like elbow, oh. Because that's literally my brain was just like, oh, just the snapping of somebody's elbow. Now, does that remind you of anything else from your cast? No. <laughs> oh, no. No, I was, I, was, I was going to pretend to be your therapist, but. <laughs> oh, you. you <laughs> God. My, but yeah, that's. My, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, going back to food, I mean, my other thought would have been, like, elbow macaroni. Which ah, okay. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, I was, no. I, yeah, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Elbow macaroni. Do you have Does any that, dishes oh. you make with that, or you just remember it as a word? Um, I mean, you can make pastas out of that. But, oh, I said, um, is there anything you make in particular that you like using it for? Because different kind of noodles are good for different kinds of dishes. Right, right. I mean, elbow macaroni is just pretty much just like macaroni, and you can make macaroni and cheese or. Like and I usually mm-hmm. just end up making a pasta out of it, not that not macaroni and cheese, but like you know an actual uh, red pasta. Right. Pasta. Nice. pasta. All right, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and let you pick your next set of words. Lovely. All right. Not words, word. And then, uh, <clears throat> real quick, I actually already reset the list. I got all twelve. I want you to pick yours. You guys can immediately say what your first thoughts are, and then before I have uh, Miles pick his final word, I want to read what's on this list because these are some fantastic words. Whatever you don't pick, we're missing out on some good options. But go ahead, oh, Ari. boy. All right. So thinking back, um, I will go with three. Guard. G U A R D. Guard. Oh, uh, okay. Um. You, you see, like, I've been, like, really studying, like, Roman history, and so my first thought was Praetorian Guard. Oh, you know, the, those, the, the Praetorian Guards were the actual, like, bodyguards of the Roman emperors. Like the bailiff okay. for the court system, right? <laughs> no, no, more like the Secret Service to, like, the president, basically. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. I've never heard of that before. I just thought they were guards. And granted, I should have known there would be a term in front of it. Yeah. Guard. Okay. Okay. What about you, Miles? What was your first reaction when I said guard? Football. The position guard. The man that is uh, right next to the center. So there's a guard. It's just like chess. You got the center in the middle. And you got the two guards right next to the center, and then you got the two tackles. Now, do I know the name? Why there's a there's a guard and tackle? And I understand we all know why the center is the center because the center mm. of the play. But I don't know why they call guards. I was a guard all the way in in little league, uh, little league and middle school. And yeah, that was the first thing. Shoot, guard. But like when you were talking about that, I was thinking about the the uh, guard in England. That uh, big tall hat dude. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what yeah, my I was first thinking, thought was. Yeah, I was thinking that really tall hat dude. I was like, look at that guard. Those British boys, the, as I call yeah, them. the British boys where like people walk up to him and they like yell at them for, like. I'm like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. And they don't yeah. flinch. They don't react. Yeah. Yeah, the dude freaking passed out, and they just all like stood there. And was just like, well, if he dies, he dies. I'm like, dang. Yeah. Like, yeah, oh, the, um, that was where my first thought was too, and then. I immediately off of that, I always think about how, I forget the number, I think it's like 137 or something, but the Pope at the Vatican has a, a guard there. There's a, a guard service, mostly a The Swiss retired. guard. Yeah. That's it, the Swiss guard. Um, and I, again, I forget the number, but it's, a little, it's more than 100, less than 150, I think. But regardless, uh, they have some fantastic outfits. I don't know. If oh, you, yeah. Yeah. Have you seen colorful. them, Miles? Ah. Uh... Nah. You, seen, you can look it up real quick. The Swiss Guards. It is a fantastic outfit. You know they're. You know who they are. It's very sure. medieval. It feels it like a, uh What do you call it? The um. Not the um. Fuck. What is the name? Um. <laughs> Wait. The yellow and blue people. Jester. Yeah, like jesters. Yeah. And they still do this nowadays. Yes, that's cur- that's, that's current. Them. Yeah, it's all tradition. 
Look, it's with the Catholic Church. You think they're changing that fast, Miles? Holy crap. Yeah. Um, Literally. At, ceremony, at ceremonies and through the halls. That's how they're dressed at all times. Uh, wow. And if I, rem- if I remember correctly, they're, they are... Some of them are volunteer, but in terms like they apply for it as... They're all former military in some capacity. They all have military training, and they apply to be in that position. Um, you should uh, wear the you should wear the costume, Miles. It did what costume? This costume, the Swiss yeah, Guard costume. The Swiss Guard. First of all, out of all the pictures I've seen, not one of these people were black. So I don't think <laughs> I don't you, think you would, you would own. You would I, own your next one. I think day. it would look better on you, Miles. You, you remember? You remember the word "disappear"? Yeah, I feel like one of the Swiss people would make me disappear <laughs> if you, I did this. You would this. own your next blind date. They would be so hey. impressed with the confidence oh, you come walking in. Oh my gosh! I come walking in with that. I'm going viral. I just want you're, y'all to you're, know. You're getting a smile out of them. Isn't that what matters? That's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, no. I I want to go to Europe one day, and I, I don't want to have a target on my head. So yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> people, people from Switzerland. Um, yeah, y'all should uh, petition to have a. Uh, They're not from Switzerland. Uh, it's the Vatican City in Italy. It's wait, just okay. Called, so I, I think Ari just said it's called the Swiss Guard. Oh, because I just typed the Swiss Guard, and they're yellow and blue, and I'm like, well, yeah, uh, that's the Swiss flag. Let me look up Vatican City Guard one more. Okay, so you see, what I just looked up was Swiss yeah, guards. Yeah, that's the bodyguard for the Pope. And um, these bodyguards are. But they are still blue. called. They are still called the Swiss guards. But Swiss. if you look up Vatican City guard uniform, it's got. Honestly, though, that is not head. a bad fit. Like, I, I can... it does look like a jester's outfit. Yeah. That is not a bad fit. I, I would wear that. That's drip, man. Yeah, yeah Miles, yeah, just look up what... the Vatican City Guard uniform. That might give you a better Vatican search result. Vatican City Guard, okay. Gotcha. Now, uh, are they like really this. not Swiss? I thought they were Swiss. I thought they no, were... It's, uh... it's still called the Swiss Guard, but if you, I imagine if you type in Swiss Guard, yeah, it pulls up. It's, the it's the, yeah, yeah, it's the same. It no, the it's same. the same outfit. It's the same outfit. It's blue okay, and just yellow me. with I didn't know if you were talking about strictly blue and yellow. Okay. Oh, they got the sword, too? Come on, yeah, man! No. You should wear that. Uh, you, oh, they you, got let the me... hat. They have the hat. You, did the you fluffy see the hat? hats? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, what is that on top? That that's funny. I love it. I love the hat. You should wear the hat, man. That's funny. yeah, no, absolutely not. I'm never. Yeah, There's some just... that are wearing berets, but the guy with the with the how would I even describe it? The metal hat, pointy, and it's got like that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the um plume right on top of the helmet yeah no i'm gonna i'm gonna that's gonna be a hard pass for me uh guys uh you um, know to each their own that's all good yeah 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 well i'm saying you know i think that there's so many things so many things in this world that um yeah i don't think they need me for that hmm. Not, sounds uh, good that is so but that's an interesting i never see i've never seen that in, before in my life Oh, all right. and they so, that, yeah. I'll read those 12 words real quick so you can see what they all were, just so you can see okay. why I, I had to go over to chuckle. But, and then afterwards, I'll reset the list and you can pick Miles. Got it? And you'd be the last all right, one. This one. Yep. All right, so it was flesh, clap, guard, <clears throat> marked, yeah. unarmed, flush, quickly, back, passenger, nod, yellow, and soap. Clap got me. That's funny. Clap. I'm not going for it. Clap. I started laughing because I was like, clap. <laughs> I was really so hoping you man. said number one or two and it'd be flesh or clap. So I was like, ah, man, we got I some still, good I still remember that joke about like, you know, what What do you call when you have like three claps in a summer? An applause. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> I thought of clap as being the STD clap, and I was like, "No, that's oh. that's what it was referring to." Yeah. Oh yeah. Getting that... the clap three times in the summer. Oh, no, never. All right, Miles. Thank you. Last word of this episode. Go ahead and pick All a number right. one through twelve. I reset All the right. list. So I said three. I said seven. I said nine. I said ten, and I said and twelve. 12. <laughs> All right. I guess we're doing eleven. All right. Bangle. You said bangle? Yeah. <laughs> B-E-N-G-A-L? B-A-N-G-L-E. Dangle. 
Oh, Dangle. Oh, I thought you said Bangle. I was like, this is the perfect way to end it as a Cincinnati Bengals <laughs> well, what, Wait, what did you think I uh, said? Bangle Tiger. Like the, the Tiger, a, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, you can go off on that one, too. If that's what you uh, heard, go ahead. I, that's but not what heard, you heard. But, but it yeah, I heard, but that's not. But you said Dangle. Yeah, D-A-N-G-L. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I was like, uh, Dangle D. Yeah. Dangle D's, but I, I can't <laughs> see that. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Um, dangle, 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 dangle. Just think about uh, what's dangling. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? Dangling two rolling dice from your that's, car. That's <laughs> <laughs> the dangling dice that people you, hang you on You pull that rear right rear out rear. of your ass there, buddy. <laughs> Don't break him. He's got to finish the episode already. You, I have to call him out on this. Like, folks, this is not the Miles that we all know. All right. This first, is like... First. Genuine first what, what is this? Like, why did you just, like, give them, like, the the washed, washed down, like, used version of yourself, man? Like, no. People oh, want to hear you. What is this? I'm saying, hey, look. Yeah. All right. Miles is it? Miles Go ahead. is it? Finish this. This is, finish Miles. this crap, man. We'll do it live. Miles is a good man. Miles, if I say dangle, what comes to mind? Ah, <laughs> uh, the dice from the, the rear view mirror. Nice. Are you talking about those giant fuzzy dice? The large yep, ones you can, you can yep, scoop into large, your hand, right? Yep, and you can hold them, and you can you can throw them over your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that bounce around when you drive on the on the yeah, exactly. movies, uh, all, those eighties mm, yep. those eighties movies all the way down yep. to the California mm. sunset. Yeah, yeah, dang, with, all with the way hula, down. The hula hoop yep. on the dashboard. You know, sometimes, sometimes police pull you over because they dangling too. They they're dangling right there. You know, Do you like the white ones or the pink mm. ones? Yeah, I think it has to be. It has to be the original white, six die, excited. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. What about you, Ari? You like fuzzy dice? I like the pink ones. <laughs> oh, oh but, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, like the the white ones are fine, but the pink ones are, you know, actually better. But um, yeah, I guess like going back to dangle. You know very well, like what I was thinking, man. Like you, you thinking? need to ask me. You gotta, like, you gotta tell the audience what were you thinking. Were come you on, thinking? don't, don't, don't put thinking? me on the spot you, like that. You, you know thinking? what I was what thinking. thinking. You know what I was thinking. I don't know what you're thinking. I, <laughs> I, don't, no I'm not in, I was not thinking in of, I was thinking of apples on a tree that are dangling. Oh, and I got you. That's what. You <laughs> got right. you. Yeah. I, I always think that you think about that. That's what you talk about picking apples from a tree all the time. I always forgot that's a thing of yours. <laughs> yeah, that's a great dangle. Yeah. <laughs> so you pick up any apples recently? You go apple picking. Oh yeah, you're season? not supposed to. You're not supposed to get the apples that are like on the ground either. That's bad mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I no, you're apple not apple picking. I went to like this uh, the um. So there's this place in uh, Charlottesville that um has like apple cider. Yeah, I've been there. I was about to talk about that because you mentioned And, um, bro, like, mold cider, like, the heated, like, cider is so good. Oh, my God. Like, it's just I forget so what the name of that place is, but I think we're talking about where you could go up, like, this very long mountain with a very tight turn uh, road all the way up. Oh, God, yes. Um, I'd have to dude, look Dude, I just... Hold on, I can find it, like... Well, regardless, yeah, when you talk about apple picking, that's the place I was thinking about, but I haven't done that in a few years. But yeah, those places, they usually have two, three, four different kinds of apples in season at different times oh, of the yeah. year as they grow in. So it's it's great picking. You fill up your bucket, you pay by the pound, and that's how it is. And you, you get to take it home like that, buy other supplies. So and you know, my nice... thing is, um, like, it's just odd to me that, like, you know, there's different types of apples where you can... Like, you're not really supposed to eat the green apples. You use that for, like, baking. Or, oh, really? Like, there's, yeah, you, you, don't, you don't really... You're the not supposed to eat the... Yeah, the you're not supposed sweat? to eat the... Eat, yeah, sour of course. Ones. Yeah, they're pretty oh. sour. That's why they're used for, like, baking. But um, the place I was thinking about was Castle Hill Cidery. Have you been hmm. there? No, I think we're talking about different things. I'd have to look up mine. I mean, it was on a windy road, but then again, a lot of those uh, 
Apple picking spots are pretty much all the same in that aspect. I was thinking about Carter Mountain Orchard. That's where I went. Oh, yeah, that's another one, too. It's pretty that's famous. The, yeah, that's the closest one to, to where we are in Richmond. Um, yeah, sure. The closest one between Charlottesville and Richmond, Virginia. Okay. Yeah. Right. When I heard yeah. when I heard the word dangle, I kid you not, I visualize uh kind of like in the movies, <laughs> the action movies, where you have someone hanging yeah. off of one of those uh rooftops, the concrete rooftops. Oh, oh to the mm. death. Yeah, and you got someone standing over top, yeah. like talking trash to them and about to kick them off or whatever, and they're like, "Please no." Uh, I was I was visualizing <laughs> one of those kind of. Yeah, it's great, isn't uh, it? Ah, okay. <laughs> So I was surprised that neither of you two had any kind of similar connotation. But, you know, we all think differently. <laughs> Absolutely. We all do. Think differently, yeah. We all. I think Miles that's the better best than thing. others. <laughs> Miles has a great thought process. So do you, Miles. <laughs> but I think that's the big takeaway from today is it gives us a bit better insight into how we all think, how we all uh, you know, approach these kind of variables and the yes yeah. and mentality of just all right we're going with it where do we go from here absolutely so i had fun with this i don't know about you oh, two. you got I a better was, idea of how I... it works sorry do what now you got a better oh, yeah, idea yeah, of how yeah, it yeah. works um, you guys have fun it was interesting oh, I, um i had so much fun i mean <laughs> i'm not used to like improv and stuff but like um yeah like this doesn't this didn't feel like improv it's just like it's just Normal. Well, the di- the difference between this and normal improv is in improv you'd have to act. You'd be physically moving around, making yeah. a scene around that. Yeah, in that's this what case, I, that's what I figured. In this case, I'm I just kind of use that warm up to make random variables and just get, you get that first thought and you talk about it. So there's a little bit of a tweak to it, but I mean it still worked the same. I'm glad you guys right. had a lot of fun with it though, Miles. What were you saying? I interrupted you earlier. No, I said I had. I just had fun. I had too much fun with this. <laughs> It literally just. Get... I bet you did, yeah. <laughs> what was, what was your was What fine. was your favorite word of the day? What was your favorite word? Oh, um, it had to, it had to be it had to be flex or a stretch. 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 Yeah, because it gave me a, a flashback to my childhood of The Incredibles, which was a great show. I think everybody should watch it. And yeah, just great. And great you thought of art Elastigirl. Style. You, you thought yeah, of good great, memories. Great, yeah, great art style. You know, great drawing of Character mm. design. She's got, an awesome, she's got a very strong personality. Very, very strong personality and strong abilities. Mm. Yeah. My favorite word uh, was wiggles. Especially because you and I just both started laughing. <laughs> <We all. laughs> what about oh, you, Ari? Man. What was your favorite word? Um, what was the word that like led me to Dragon Tales? I feel like was it Wiggles? I think it was Wiggles actually. Nope. I don't know. Maybe. There was a weird tangent there, like where I, think, I, think where I made a connection Wiggles. to that. Yeah. I think it was notebook. Oh, was it? No. Yeah. No, no. Ar- argument? No. No, 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 no. Regardless, yeah, we'll listen yeah. back. You know what? How about the viewers tell us? You guys go into the comments and tell us what the word was that caused that conversation. We'll see. Also, tell us like what you thought about, like, yeah, yeah. What did y'all think about Dangle? What were your first reactions Mm -hmm. to any of these words? Go ahead and let us know. (laughs) All right. Well, (laughs) you guys got any final words before I close this down? No, not at all. Just, just no final words for me. We'll catch y'all the next one. Catch y'all the next one. Yeah, they'll be sure to follow us on social media for sure. I think this might be a fun recurring segment that I get to host. Personally, I'd like to host them, but (laughs) (laughs) Uh, you did a good job. Let us let us know what you think and uh, whether we should continue this. Have a great day, everybody. This has been another episode of the Unfiltered Pineapple Podcast. Follow us on all of our socials, and we look forward to talking and seeing you guys later. Have a good night, everybody. All right, peace. Don't forget to dangle these.